What's up, everybody? Welcome to today's episode of the Comeback Podcast with your host, Mark Jennison, founder and creator of the Comeback Movement, the man that's going to change your life. Today's topic is how many hits are you willing to take? Sit back, enjoy the show, and let's roll. So, period, straight up, easy question. How many hits are you willing to take before you finally get this under control? I was inside, we're getting ready to go to my grandmother's 80th birthday party, which is going to be a podcast in itself, probably Monday, Tuesday, next week. But the kids all had on Spider-Man, he mentioned something there about being able to, willing to take hits. And it spawned an idea inside of me. I want to just come prepared today with a question. Inside of your life, inside of your your fitness, inside of your future, inside of your finances, inside of just drinking, inside of trying to achieve the goals that you want, how many hits are you willing to take? In my life, I took seven major relapses. Seven. Inside of those seven, I lost time, money, energy, relationships, dignity, self-respect, my kid, you name it. And I look back at those things now, and that's just on those seven major ones, right? We could talk about the hundreds that I made just like you. Oh man, I'm gonna start on Friday, or I'm gonna start on Monday. Oh man, after I get done with this 30 pack, I'm gonna start. Or oh, after I use this cocaine, I'm done, right? I would tell myself all these bullshit excuses, all these bullshit stories inside of my head that were just fucking lies. But I really wanna hone in on just the drinking and the seven major hits that I was willing to take. See, most people would've gave up after the first one. I remember there actually, as I lost my, my first business, I had 70, I had done 75 million, I had 78 employees, 43 uh, semi-trucks, a bunch of amazing stuff going on inside of my life. And I had taken that hit, and I remember it feeling like, dude, my world was ending. I could never get back up. Like these were the thoughts, these were the stories telling me inside of my head. And then I stopped and I looked for a minute, I mean, I wish it was that easy. After I finally decided to pull myself out and I stopped back and I looked, I said, man, I've been willing to take equal amounts of hits, energy, resources, everything to get to this point. Because I know this, inside of me, I wanted more. Just like inside of you, you want more. You wouldn't listen to this if you knew that you were a quitter, if you knew that you were a victim, if you were just going to give up. I understand, this is more of like a self-help, that I understand that it hurts. It's painful, you feel alone. You feel like your energy sucked out. You have no money left. Or maybe the business is doing amazing, but you feel like it's just going to fail at any time because when's the bottom going to drop out? Your wife has left you or maybe has even threatened, but what's she going to do inside your head? You're like, man, how do I, I'm going to lose half my, my business. All these fucking thoughts that go on. My question is this. How many hits are you willing to take before you decide to step up and become the man you want to be? Step up, put down the drink. Make it a choice to fit into your life in certain areas. Quit fucking lying to yourself day in and day out about what is going on. Inside of each failure, inside of each hit, just like a, just like a, a baseball bat, right? If someone who's getting better and better, they have to swing, 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 they're gonna miss, they're gonna miss, but eventually they're gonna get that hit. You gotta be willing to subject yourself to as many fucking failures as it takes. With ultimately not letting the feeling brain get a hold of you, not letting the emotional side of it start telling yourself a story that you're a loser, that you can't do this, that you're a fucking alcoholic, that you have a disease, because at that point, you're not taking hits anymore. You're accepting someone else's self-beliefs, you're accepting the world's views, you're accepting negativity and actually speaking over and entering into your life, and from there it's a downward spiral. Not doing anything is a sign of weakness. But looking at each failure, looking at each hit that you've taken, looking at each time you've been knocked down but not fucking completely out and you've been able to stand up and put it together, whether it's for one hour or 35 months or even three or four years, I don't care what the fucking time. I'm not about collecting time, about collecting experiences, memories. It's about taking those hits, learning from them, and fucking striving forward. I open my arms to hits I'm going to take in the world. I'm going to take some more inside of life and I can guarantee that. That's the one thing that we can guarantee. It is not easy. It is not perfect, but it is a fucking journey. And inside of the journey, when you can take the hits and you understand that each one is going to serve a purpose in my life, the financial loss, losing my kid, the struggle, the seven major relapses, the drinking, every fucking hit has given back hundreds of kids, has given back wives, has given back men their lives have liberated and completely changed because of those hits. My question to you today is this. It's Sunday afternoon. I'm not sure when you listen to this. 
you're feeling down about yourself, you understand you're inside of a pit, it feels like you're taking two steps forward and then falling back seven, eight steps, and you're fucking sick and tired of it. I want you to switch your mindset today and look at them and be thankful. You're not dead, you're breathing, you have a choice. A choice today, decide to step up, take that hit, learn from it, and become the man you wanna be. And like always, all you have to do type in iamacomeback.com forward slash apply iamacomeback.com forward slash apply and myself my team somebody will reach out to you will leave you better we found you my brother this can be the last hit in that particular area of your life or you can keep taking them it doesn't matter to me what matters to me is that you finally decide that you know you can do this no matter where you're at on that pendulum no matter where you're swinging I urge you to click the link, or type, I should say, type in imacomeback.com forward slash apply and set up some time to talk with us. As always, that's it for today's episode of the Comeback Podcast. We'll see you on tomorrow's episode. Have an amazing rest of your weekend. Take care.